When I was in sixth grade, some members of our church just showed up at my house, unannounced, walked in, went straight to the refrigerator, and started filling it with groceries. That experience changed my life. Not necessarily because of the food that they brought, but because of the generosity that they demonstrated. And I will never forget that. Um, I also, at a very young age, was um, exposed to the concept of injustice. I grew up in poverty. My, um, my mother had an eighth grade education. My father had a third grade education. And between them, they had 12 children. Then they were separated before the age of five. And my mother was left to raise all those children on her own. Um, she worked multiple jobs, night shifts, had no benefits, no child support. Things were really rough for us at home. But the thing that bothered me the most was the fact that she, she worked so hard for so little. And it wasn't until later that I identified that as an injustice. But I knew from a very young age that that was just wrong. So when I was about 12 years old, I went through a time of, of heightened sensitivity to my circumstances. And I suppose it was the onset of adolescence, but I longed more than anything else, uh, despite our poverty, I longed for a father. And I, on a particularly bad day, um, I remember that I locked myself in the room and threw myself on the floor and began to cry because I felt cheated. And in this very low moment, I felt God's presence in a new way. Um, I felt God telling me that he was my father, right? And I realized at that moment that I already had what I had been longing for so much. Um, in, in this moment, I um, realized that I had a father who loved me and who would take care of me. And I found a lot of comfort in that phrase of, of having a father that loved me. Um, so I am no longer poor. And I've had the privilege of marrying a wonderful man who has been a really loving father to my children. But I relive my childhood emotions uh, whenever I see people in need, especially children in need. And I carry a wound that has led to a deep desire to work toward creating systems that treat children equally, that value children equally, systems that provide not only for their current needs, but also their future needs. And I believe that if we adopt this concept of equality, um, of actually seeing people as having equal worth, that that will affect what we do, and that this world would be radically different.